Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a tutorial on how to automate a magical crop farm. I am here in my creative world, so let's check it out. This is the basic primary setup. You will need a power source, a planter, a harvester, some sort of item transfer, ideally fertilised dirt and your seed of choice. With this setup, the harvester gets power, it will plant in a 3x3 three three area, as in totally 3x3, three three, not 3 outwards. So, for example, nothing will plant on here. And this harvester, once, once powered, will harvest in a 3x3 three three in front of it. Like so. And it will output into an adjoining chest, it doesn't have to be on the back, it can be on the side. And here we will see we now have three ender seeds and three ender essence, because it harvested three of them. Now, this hasn't been enabled yet, so what we can do from here is both take out the ender essence for our use, which includes things like the infusion stones, ender pearls, end stone, etc. All these cool things. And or we can turn this thing whoop, turn this thing on. And it will cycle the seeds back into the planter for its use. And we, you want to filter it to only let seeds in. So that way the essence stays there. Cool. With fertilised dirt, it improves the growth rate of the crop. And what you can do, and what I like to do, is take out this middle block and put a tank, it has to be an open box tank, with water in it and then place a sprinkler on top. The sprinkler works in a 9x9 nine nine area centred on the sprinkler and will also increase the growth rate. So this is the most efficient lower tier automated crop farm. Next we shall move on to the more advanced crop farm. This uses the same setup as this one but it will require some extra thinking. So as I said earlier this the harvester harvests in a 3x3 three three block, the planter plants in a 3x3 three three block, and the sprinkler works in a 9x9 nine nine area. So here we have a 9x9 nine nine area. This time we do have lily pads of fertility. These work in a 7x7 seven seven area, both one down and four above the plant, the uh, fertility lily pad. So this area is now receiving the maximum growth rate it can, including a sprinkler. Unfortunately, with the water setup, you do have to miss a block because there's no other way to do it because the planter has to be one block under or yeah, one block under. But we also will need to include upgrades. So if we look at the upgrades, they are just from Mine Factory Reloaded. Oops, upgrade. For the 9x9 nine nine area, we'll, we will need a radius increase of at least four because the harvester will plant here normally. So you need one, two, three, sorry, not four. So you need a radius increase of three, which works out to be the tin upgrade. So once we input this in, so let's give it, let's actually just plant some ender seeds normally. And you'll see that it plants in this area. But let's increase the area, take these out, put in the tin upgrade, goes in here, and give it some ardite seeds. We quickly see that it fills up the remainder of the area. And if we give this thing power, luckily they don't drain much at all. And start to force this to grow, you will see that the harvester will also only harvest in three blocks in front of it. The watering can, by the way, also speeds up the growth. But you have to do this manually, you can't automate it. So there we go, it harvested the first one. Um, I, actually, I'll turn my particles on, and you can see the extra sort of all oh, these uh, lily pad fertility things. The watering can also works on these, by the way, which is pretty cool. So this will speed up the growth of the entire area. So you see, it's much faster now, and it affects a seven by seven area. It doesn't increase the speed of other lily pads because that would stack cumulatively, and that would mean like everything would instantly grow. So it doesn't do that. But as you can see, this is harvesting in a 3x3 three three area in front of it and nowhere else. So we will need an increase in radius of at least 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we need 
the silver upgrade for this. So we can plonk this in here, and we should see it harvesting the rest of the Ardite seeds once it updates. It's not continually running on every block because that would create an enormous amount of lag. It goes up and down the lines. So that's why it's not harvesting immediately. And it does take a while. So let's try and... Oh, there you go. It's going up and down the lines. You should see this one harvest next. And then it will work its way up and harvest this one and then these... Yeah, that's all working. So we could now... Oh yeah, this is going through. I... Oh, okay. I forgot to actually set the filter, but it seems to do it intelligently. Oh, I've learned something today. <laughs> I had no idea that, that it could do that. One thing about these harvesters, though, is that they will slowly fill up with sludge. So you will need to empty this, preferably into a barrel, but I will do... Uh, preferably into a tank, but I will just do something cheap and nasty. No, that's not what I wanted. I wanted an empty drum. And you plonk this down there, it'll automatically fill in. And you can see it's starting to fill up with sludge. When this thing fills up with sludge, it will no longer work, and everything will stop. So, bear that in mind. So there is one last thing, aside from Thomcraft, which I will not touch in this tutorial. And that is involving applied energistics. So, here we are on the Cryptocraft server, which hopefully some of you will recognise. With all of these swirly particle effects in my face, which I will slowly, uh, surely get rid of. That's why I had particles off to begin with. So this is the setup that I have. It is not, uh, th five 9x9 nine nine grids. Or oh, sorry, three 9x9 nine nine grids and a 9x7, because I messed up on the ratios. But anyway, this uses the same setup. It has the harvester, a tank, sprinkler, aqueous accumulator is all the way down there. And they're all being powered, and this harvester is being steady. Ooh. It gets full of sludge, but still works. Alright, I take that back. Sludge doesn't affect it. So anyway, this is the setup. If we go back here, you can see that this is sort of patchy, and I will get onto that. So we go down here into the mass and messy setup that I have down here. So everything's drained of sludge, but because this is a server, it's constantly loaded, and these drums are obviously all filled up. Yep, so the harvesters must be full of sludge, but apparently they still work. So who knew? I didn't. Um, you annoyed me. So, this is the setup that I have. It is just a precision import bus, importing cobalt and emerald into that one. Let's pick the ender one to make it a bit simpler. So this is just importing ender seeds, and it is importing it in single item mode. And it also... The grinders will... The harvesters will pull out the seeds by themselves, and then that will... that The harvesters link up to the ender chests. As you can see, I've got a lot of them around here. They will deposit them in here, which is linked up to my AE system, and that AE system links back into here and will automatically start filling up these harvesters with the required seeds. So, that is about it. I hope you enjoyed. If you wish me to do a Thumbcraft tutorial, I will, of course, do that. Um, I have to do a bit of reading myself because I've never done it before, but I am sure that I can do it if you guys would like me to. So, I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you have learned something new. I am getting massive FPS drops, <laughs> which means it's a good time for me to end. So, once again, thank you very much for watching, and see you in the next tutorial. Cool. Oh, no, shoot the pig! No, don't shoot the pig! Oh. Ooh, oh, that was oh, so no. close. Okay, get back oh. on the treadmill. Get back on the treadmill. <laughs> um. Um. <laughs> um. <laughs> wasn't me. <laughs> By the way. <laughs> the pig won't despawn, it's okay. I think I knocked him off the treadmill. I don't know how the treadmills work though, so I don't know if I yeah. did. Oh, <laughs> cool. I'm. Uh, I've got the two. I've got two trolley ones left. <laughs>